Hello, you're welcome to our first class. In this class, we're going to do some introductions, explanation of terminologies, so that you will understand everything we're going to be doing step by step, so that you also become a professional pattern maker. Now, before you make a pattern, you need to understand the measurements and everything that you're going to put in your pattern. We will be teaching you how to make a pattern from scratch and how to also use a block, how to make a block and how to use it and adapt it into various styles of a skirt. So this class will be teaching you skirt making, skirt pattern making. But just before we go into pattern making, I want you to understand every part of the pattern and how it relates to a human body. Here is the waist. This is the waist of a woman. On the waist is where you put your seam, a band. That is what defines the shape of a woman. On paper, here is your waistline. And on a real person, so we're using this mannequin to represent a person, this line is your waist. So here is the waist and here is the waist. So by the time we are sewing this pattern, this part is where it's going to come on the waist like so. Come along, let's continue. These are darts. Darts. The darts help to shape the waist of a woman because you need to have a flow from the waist to the hip you don't want it to bulk, to be bulky or to bulge or to have any crease or excesses so a dart needs to be put in place to make sure that there will be a transformation from the small shape to a fully figured hip now hip is the fullest part that after the or from the waist after the waist there's a hip line this is the hip line if you can see from the pattern that's where it curves and on the real person or using this mannequin this area is your hip we're doing this so that by the time we start to do the di different adaptations different dark manipulations you'll be able to imagine how that style could be gotten from just a block talking about block what is a block a block is something like this is this a block is where is the foundation of every style any type of skirt any type of dress any type of trouser they all come from a block even sleeves come from a block you never cut your block you make your block or you buy your block in different sizes and you keep it you will trace it to another paper and that is the one that is your working paper that's the one you cut, your working pattern. You never cut your block. So your block could come full like this. Usually for production, your patterns will not be half. It will be full like so. This will be the front and then you have a separate pattern for the back. If you are doing a half pattern, usually used for one um, outfit. When you're making an outfit that's just one piece. The quantity is one that's when you use the half pattern i'm going to show you how to do both how to do the half pattern and how to do the full pattern now let's go to the parts of your pattern as i said earlier this is your dart and this is the dart leg dart leg this is the dart point here written as dp your waistline, you must always clearly and professionally label your patterns. By the time you are done with this course and you mail us your assignments or you send them in, this is how we are going to mark your patterns. And labeling is very key in pattern making. Here is the sewing allowance, which is usually represented with the dotted lines. You can see all the dotted lines it shows that a stitch or rather stitches are going to pass through that area here hip line also this is the fullest part on the woman's hip 
Here are grain lines. These are directional lines that would instruct the cutter on how to place the pattern. So the arrow going this way and this way shows that when we're cutting, we will place the pattern straight. Not like this, not like this, but straight. Here is the back pattern. This is the back pattern and that's why it has zip allowance. The zip allowance is the space left to sew in and secure a zipper because this skirt, a pencil or straight skirt, would usually have a zipper either at the back, the center back, or on the side, embedded inside the seam allowance that is on the side of your skirt. Here we have the hemline. The hemline represents the lower part of the skirt, and this shows the allowance that will be folded in when the tailor or your sewing machine operator or you would be stitching it. This is for the back and this is for the front. Same thing, hem allowance, you see it clearly labeled, the sewing allowance on the side, the hip line, the grain lines that is showing the direction in which the pattern must be placed. Here is cut on fold. CF represents cut on fold. That means this center part of the skirt, which is here, the middle part of your body or the middle part of the woman's body that you're making the skirt for is CF and that is this part. On the half pattern, let me also show you on the full pattern, it is this middle, that is the CF, meaning center front, center front. So let's go now into actual uh, pattern drafting.